This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. For listening and enjoy the show. Welcome, friends. John Solberg here, your host for the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. And this episode today is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop, purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australia non crossbred Wivara 9 Plus Priscuits, and they are always handpicked just for you. The Butcher Shop has been retailing the finest meats for the past 15 years. Every week, they're shipping out competition quality meats to many of the biggest competition teams in the nation. Simply put, teams who use the Butcher Shop win, and they win often. You're not a competitor, but you still have an eye for the finer cuts in life? Great news for you. The Butcher Shop is shipping some of the finest prime, dry-aged Australian Wagyu and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me who aspire to be the kings and queens of their backyards. The Butcher Shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock, and again, always handpicked just for you. You might be saying, John, all this sounds great, but how about something exotic? Well, rest easy, because the Butcher Shop can get you an elk steak, or they'll get you a camel roast, and they're going to get it in the mail promptly. Yes, they'll get you camel. Let's review. The best competition briskets? Check. The best pork selection? Check. Giving you better overall options to cook at home? Check. So give the Butcher Shop a call today. 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. Mention the Barbecue Central Show and you're picking up a 10% discount just like that. Each and every time you call Barbecue Central Show, 10% off. You can also interact with them on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Butcher Shop. Shop is spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. The Butcher Shop, home of the 100% Australian non-crossbred Wivara 9 Plus Briskets. And let's go talk a little aged steak maybe. I can hook up to. All right, gang, we have talked about dry aging steaks on the show from time to time, but it seems a bit hard to do, or you need to find a butcher to do it for you, or you need to have a separate fridge to do it at home. The list of potential inconveniences go on and on. Well, my next guest might just have a solution for you if this is something you are looking to get into. They call it the Steak Ager. Let's go ahead and run to the hotline and welcome in Frank Rizzo to the show. Frank, how are you, buddy? I'm excellent, sir. How are you? Absolutely fabulous, Frank. Uh, do you have video tonight, Frank, by chance? I do not. I'm oh. sorry. I'm oh. out of the where I would have video. That's all right. No problem. We will uh, muddle through. Uh, so, Frank, talk to me a little bit, I guess, first. You know, it seems that people in the barbecue and grilling industry have like a day job like me i have a day job but then i have this passion that drives through the evening and well into the early morning hours Uh, are you something similar do you have like a regular day job or are you somebody that is head deep in the steak age or full time uh at this point i'm head deep in the steak age or full time we've taken it from uh prototype all the way through kickstarter raised 100 grand went on cnbc make me a millionaire inventor and our selling it and people are absolutely loving it uh had a passion for steak for a very long time and uh have transformed it into a full-time job so uh, i I guess before the steak age what were you doing were you in some type of an inventive uh portion or manufacturing or something along these lines no not at all i've been uh in advertising for the better part of two decades wow okay so quite a departure um for i guess uh, to some degree, a little bit of a departure for you, and probably not the sales side of it and the marketing. So talk to me, I guess, being a fan of steak, I'm a fan of steak. Everybody that listens to the show, a fan of steak in some form or fashion. Hell, uh, steak won the World Food Championships this year, for crying out loud. You hear <laughs> about uh, the dry aging of beef, and as I had mentioned in the open, I talked to a lot of experts on the show, week in, week out, dry aging comes up, but we never really seem to delve into it too much because there does seem to be a layer of inconvenience. So I guess when were you first introduced to dry aging of meat? What did you like about it? And how does that spark the genesis of whatever that first steak ager was? Uh, I I took a set of clients out to uh, a great steakhouse in Chicago called David Burke's Prime House and uh, had a dry aged steak. New York strip aged 45 days and I was blown away. 
I was like, wow, how did how did the concentration of flavors and the tenderness of this steak come together? Because I've had steaks all over the world and it's they're always good, but they're not great. And this one was just fantastic. So I left and uh, did a little research and he actually had a YouTube video where he took a series of people through his dry aging cellar and talked about all of the things that he had done and the various cuts of beef and how long he did it and and went through the whole process and I was completely fascinated and I thought to myself, I'm like, well, how come you can't do this at home? So then I looked at a few other videos and there were a whole series of naysayers, whether it was uh, Kenji Lopez on Serious Eats or Pat LaFrida himself yeah. put out a video saying, you really can't do this at home. It's not safe. So I uh, took pen to paper and uh, drew a couple sketches and uh, thought about it and said, well, you know, all the component trees there, you know, air circulation, UVC light to prevent bacterial growth, um, some kind of carbon filtration to prevent smell within the refrigerator. And then I did the one thing that I thought was the most genius of all, which is I went on Amazon and I put in dry age steak. And you know what I came back with? Two books. That was it. And I knew there was a hole in the universe. So I contacted my, uh, my partner from a very long time ago in a past life. And we had done some crazy stuff together. And I put together a 12 page PowerPoint and I said, this is what we can do. We can revolutionize the way America thinks about eating beef from the grocery store. Sent it to him and he said, okay, I'm in. I'll build it. He was the engineer wow. and uh, wrote the software. We found a, a series of uh, people that could help us out. We built a couple prototypes. Uh, we put one in my refrigerator. We put one in his refrigerator. Did some research um, and went through the process. And what we came up with was... We could replicate 100% every single time exactly what you get in a David Perk type restaurant steakhouse that would cost you $80 a plate and convert grocery store beef that you can buy on sale when they put it on sale for $7.99 a pound for choice or $9.99 a pound for prime and create the best steak you've ever had. Frank Rizzo joining me here on the show talking about the steak ager. Uh, so, Frank, if you could uh, go ahead and kind of paint a, a mental picture for us, how the device looks and where it goes into the refrigerator and I guess how it is actually operating to prevent any of those kind of nasties that you had mentioned a couple seconds ago. Sure, absolutely. The box, uh, it was designed to uh, on two fronts, one to take up less than 20% of a total regular refrigerator. It was a it was designed for the second refrigerator, in essence your beer fridge, the place where you put water and leftover cupcakes and pizza boxes and the rest of those things and turn it into a functional space where you can create absolutely delicious restaurant quality steaks. It is made out of a stainless steel head which houses all the componentry, the UVC light, the blower fans, the PCB board. It's Wi-Fi enabled so you can walk up to it with your smartphone or your laptop and c connect to it. It'll tell you all the statistics, everything that's going on. It's also made of high-density polyethylene on both ends and a, a clear plexiglass front. It's powered by a 12-volt DC motor that uh, has a 12-foot thin ribbon cable that slides through the hinge side on the gasket side of your refrigerator, um, which has zero impact on the refrigerator. You just plug it in and it just, it's the, the best way we like to describe it is set it and forget it. People want to do things to it, look at it and the rest of you basically take it, put it together, stick a big, like a 12 or 15 pound ribeye roast or a New York strip roast into the box Put it in your refrigerator, come back 21, 31, 41, 51 days. Each one has a different profile. And so you'll get to learn what kind of steak you really like. And that's what this thing is. It's, it, gives, it brings the steakhouse experience to you and to create a 
crave flavor profile that can't be matched. So talk to me, Frank, about that flavor profile for the people that maybe haven't had dry aged steak before, or maybe they've had it for that 20 or 30 days, but they haven't had it for the 40 or 50 days. You get something like the steak ager, obviously, as you said, you can have that time to play around with because now it's yours, it's in your house, in your refrigerator somewhere. Talk about the flavor profiles and then the differences between a 20 or a 50 day. Want to find out what Frank Rizzo thinks about a difference between a 20 and a 50 day dry aged steak? Head over to the bbqcentralshow.com. There'll be a link in today's episode show notes. Take you to this show. Go check that out. Steak, dry aged steak. Did that kind of go away? Is that still around? Is it still a thing? I know it was really big back in in this time. Somebody, anybody doing that? Let me know. Shoot me an email. John, J-O-N, John, at the bbqcentralshow.com. Thank you so much for joining today. And until next time on The Best Moments, I'm your host, John Solberg. You know I look forward to talking to you again soon.